We'll just check out this little wall unit here, little carrier. Second floor, she's got a couple of these things. It's like a big window unit, basically. Built into the wall. Don't look all cool there, that's for sure. Got another one down here. Gotta keep Mickey Mouse cool, you know? Yeah, it's definitely cooking. I turned this one on a little few minutes ago. This covers come right off. You think there could be a filter in here, but there's no filters in them. Either one of them. There should be filters that slide in here, but nothing. Definitely nice and cool. Be a can cold. If it's not broke, we don't fix it. We won't. Definitely cook it, man. She's cool. I'm all about that. A little thermostat here. Set that for you want. High, low, cool. Heat, low, high. So it's a heat pump. Fan on, fan only, and then off. To keep the vent. So I'll leave it like that. Looks like if I gotta get to the compressor, I'm gonna have to get over there. Put a strap on on it if I have to. Need that to change them out. Still cooling, but somebody stole. Somebody took the filters out of them. They're still working. We'll leave them alone for now. I had a complaint about a, uh, a heat pump actually that's uh, something burnt up down inside the unit. I guess it's a transformer from what the electrician said. So obviously you can see this thing's not working. So let's go down in the crawl space to see what's happening. Looks like we got refrigerant in there, so that's a good sign. 22 unit. Let's get down, going down inside the crawl space. There should be a unit down here. I'll check it and see why it's uh, there's no power to the thermostat. I didn't see any fuses blown. This is on, most likely, it could be the contact that is shorted here. Well, let's go down and take a look first. I had to cut some of these prickers down. I see these things are prick us from hell. I had to chop chop a section down there and over here so I could get in there. Look at this piping job, isn't that pretty? Alright, I'm standing up here, so this is the type of crawl spaces I work in. All concrete floors and not too bad. Uh, unit's gonna be down over there. Let me get my uh, can follow the refrigerant lines here. There's a couple of units in this house, so we can follow these refrigerant lines right here. Let's see where the unit goes. What unit it is? That's it right here. Well, the guy's got the door off and shit. So let me get my tools and we'll see what's happening here with this thing. 
It's an old carrier. <laughs> All right, so this is the compressor. Look, I had it off in a panel here. And then there's the air handler. I just heard it come on, so we'll have to see what's happening with it. It is no power, no no service switch, no nothing. At least one of the fans working. <clears throat> wow, look at that! It's all it's all melted in there. Heat sequencer. That's not good. Oh, I'm not even, I don't even think this thing's worth fixing. Look at it. I flipped the mass, man. I can put a new step down transformer in here and stuff and uh, you know clean up the wire and get a new sequence of it. I'm old unit, I don't know if it's even worth it. Took a four ton. Carrier. Okay, four. So it's gonna be three and a half tons. Got a unit on, got two units in this house on the first floor, so 42, I'm thinking it's a three and a half. What I'm gonna do is measure this thing up and, and shut it down and give her a price on changing it. I ain't gonna play around fixing this piece of shit. I got the fan shaking in there. I'm changing it out. Some things aren't worth fixing. This is one of them. 
Alright guys, I don't know if you can see in there, but everything's all cooked. The transformer's bad. Look at the way they did the, the wiring here. So all I'll have to do is I'll have to, uh, I'm going to get a price on a new unit. I'll have the electrician, he'll put on a main panel here with fuses and whatnot, and then we'll come out of that and we'll feed the new heat pump. We'll feed the heat strips and the air handler, and we'll put a um, new heat pump outside. I'll probably try reusing the line set. Looks like soft tubing the whole way, so... Uh, I might try using it, reusing it. I took all the measurements down here and all. See where they can match up. I can cut the supply down here and the return down if I have to. The, the new unit's probably going to be wider, longer than this. We'll see. Some things aren't worth fixing, and I don't think it's worth me going through the trouble of trying to fix this beast. Not at this point. That's an old unit. It's probably 25 years old at least. Or good 20, 25 years old. So we're going to give her a price on changing it out. I got the breakers off in the panel. So we'll see if I get this job. This is the unit on the other end of the house. There's two units for the first floor. And there was them two small units for that one side. This house is small, not that big. That's a garage there. So there's one room here and then it's, you know. So there's probably three and a half tons on that side and three and a half on this side. So seven tons for this house, that's way overkill. Well, let's hook up the gauges and see what we're doing here with this. My first impression. I would say it's a little bit on the charge. It's like 72 in the house. So let's, let's hook up the gate and let's see what's happening. This is a heat pump too. First thing I gotta do is set my Bluetooth up. Bluetooth on. 22 fix all this shit. Office, you can tell it's low on Freon too. Let me put some gas in it. Let's see what our super heat sub cool is. It's low on gas. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, see the super heat's high. No sub cool. No charge. I gotta put some gas in it. Alright guys, I got my C and D foam mover right there with my line going over. I bleed it back here, you know. I'll be able to charge it like this. I can regulate it here if I want for the charge. Going in on the low side. Get a little gas in there. They like to, my soupy should be about 15. I'm gonna bring this sub cool up a little bit. Pretty flipping noisy, I'll tell you that much. Looks like a carrier unit for me. gas in it still so Enough, you just put your hose on there, you know, you bleed it back, bleed the air out of this line, set that off, and then you can open this tank and throw it right into the low side, right with those C and D 
straight of course. If I want to take gas out, I can take gas out of this side. Oh, it's running. Coming back like 54 degrees. That pressure is definitely low. Throw it out right there. So it's coming back nice and cool, you know. Wet. Got nice hot air coming out of here. I could tell when I walked up on it with low on gas, just by from experience, you know. My head pressure's way low. See how low my head pressure is? Definitely cool and good, a lot better than it was.